Hey guys, it's Library Count here. Sorry this video took so long to get out, but I'm going to jump straight in it. Uh, first thing you guys are going to do is you're going to download the zip file for the theme. It's going to be right up here in the description. Once you get the file downloaded, you're going to unzip it to a local directory to, uh, that you remember. Um, preferably if you're on XP, you can go to Downloads. Uh, anyway, once you get it downloaded and unzipped, you're going to use a SSH program of your choice. I like Total Commander. Um, I'm not going to explain in this video how to SSH. If you don't already know, you need to learn. Um, you're going to SSH into your phone, which we have right here in Total Commander. Uh, over to the left here, you see my local directory for my computer. To the right is my iPhone. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to find our local directory where you downloaded the zip to. I already have it pulled up. It's in my downloads, which you'll see this file right here called Weather Elements version 3. Um, over here to the right, you're going to see your iPhone. What you're going to do is, is you're going to go to private. You're going to go to var. You're going to go down here to stash. You're going to go to themes. And this is all your winter board themes right here. This is where you want to pull that Weather Elements version 3 folder into. So we're going to go back out. You want to pull it into that file right there called Themes. Okay. So you're going to take Weather Elements version 3. You're going to drag it and you're going to put it in Themes. Okay. You got that? Once you get that in there, you're going to open up Themes. You're going to scroll to where you see your Weather Elements version 3, which mine's right here. You're going to double click it. You're going to go to private right here. And you're going to see this file called configureme.js. Okay, this is the important part. You're going to basically take this file, configureme.js. You're going to drag it into your local directory so you download it to your computer. Okay, once you get it on your computer, you're going to open the file. I already have it open right here. Um, now, my I have Dreamweaver on my computer, so Dreamweaver is what opened this JavaScript file. You can use Notepad to open it up with if you don't have a web editor, uh, HTML editor. Um, but basically, once you get that file open, you're going to see this screen here that says Zip City right here. Okay, You're going to erase all this in the quotations, and you're going to enter your zip code there. Wherever your city is that you're wanting to get the weather on your phone, you're going to enter your zip code there, okay? Um, also, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get 20-second lock screen from Cydia so that you can see it longer. And also, status notifier. Status notifier is the thing on your lock screen where it tells you when you have an email, a missed call, an SMS, etc. Um, sometimes, although for me it wasn't the case, sometimes this where it says use status notifier says false. Okay, if it says false and you want to use it, type true. Very easy. Okay, once you get rid of that, you're going to exit out of your, uh, your editing program, which for me is Dreamweaver. Okay, then this file here and where you pulled it from. Uh, is going to be the new updated file. I sometimes like to go out of the local directory and go back into it just to make sure it's updated with the new file I just edited, the JavaScript file. Um, wherever you edited that at and pulled it onto your computer, which I don't have it right here, um, you're going to take that that configureme.js, the new one that you just edited, you're going to delete this one from your iPhone. You don't have to. Sometimes the SSH program you use rewrites with the newer one. But I like not just to be safe. So I just go ahead and delete it. You're going to just click it and delete it. And then drag the new one uh, that you just edited back onto the same file in the same directory. So now that's edited. What you're going to do next is you're going to uh, go to your phone, which I'm going to do. I'll show you my phone right here. And you're going to go to Cydia, which that's where I'm at now. You're going to go to the search tab. Okay. Go up here to search. And you're going to look for this file right here. Give me a second. You're going to look for this file, status notifier. S T A T U S notifier. Okay. You see it right there. You're going to download that. I already have it downloaded. And you're also going to download 20 second lock screen, which allows your lock screen to stay on longer than the normal 10 seconds or whatever it is. 
twenty. I'm sorry, second. Okay, twenty second lock screen right there. You're going to download that. You're going to restart your phone, and boom, it's going to be ready and working for you. Comment, rate, subscribe, guys. Thanks.